There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away What's going on? Joe Mills here for you. It's been a while since I made a video, but we got a lot of stuff going on, so finally something I can show you guys. We're actually over here at the VT dump right now. Uh, we've just been ripping out some junipers in the garden, so here they lie. Uh, helping me today is my wonderful co-worker, Brittany. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so we've been uh, tearing up some junipers and uh, pulling up the stumps. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get to that footage. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Mills here for you. I'm in the shop today. Uh, we were pulling out stumps in the morning, but then the truck uh, encountered some problems. Uh, so I'm no longer pulling stumps. We got a fair bit out, and I'll flash some pictures up and show you that. Uh, right now what I'm working on is I'm working on winterizing some of our small engine equipment before I go home on break. I have a, a steel combi unit uh, attachment here, a pull saw attachment and I'm going to be winterizing this piece right now. Basically, there's not a whole lot you have to do to this, but I'm going to be uh, pulling the chain off, making sure everything is okay, there's no uh, deep scratches or anything I have to resharpen. Uh, pulling this cover off, uh, making sure all the leaves, debris, sticks and stuff is clean out of here. I can of see there's a lot of build, build up right here. A lot of build up on the chain right there, i got to clean out. And then make sure it has enough oil, and then it'll be good to go to bed for the winter. Uh, I've already started working on uh, some of the other small stuff, and I'll show you guys that right now. Take it out here, where I'm letting everything kind of um, take a break, I guess I would say. I drained all the fuel out of everything, and I'm waiting for the gas fumes to dissipate so I can put in the engineered fuel that doesn't have any um, gas station uh, ethanol in it. So that's what I'm waiting on. So we've got the push mower, uh, my FS90, the FS130, a KM130, we've got an old uh, steel 081C, 018C, sorry, and then a steel MS180C, and then a BR600. Uh, these two saws are basically the same, that one's just an older version of this. And then I have uh, this BR600 over here. Um, we don't really winterize this one in the winter. We keep this one uh, pretty operational for leaves and stuff like that and blowing snow. Um, so that I just had that out there to clean off the dirt off the stuff. So that's why that was on is, is out there. Um, yeah, so winterizing that stuff today and plus pulling out stumps in the morning. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, the laser waiting to winterize that because we're still technically in leaf season for us um, so it still gets used during leaf season so we're kinda we're gonna let it uh, go and uh, we'll change the oil in it around February it's got about 142 hours on it right now so we're not too worried about that but anyway guys I'm gonna start working on this uh, pole saw attachment here I'll uh, bring you back uh, I'll bring you guys back in in a second
guys, when you take this off, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass to get back on, so just keep that in mind. Try to keep it together when you set it down. Now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get all this gunk out of these, these machine areas. Now you really should do it after you get done with the job, but now it's just as good a time as any. This is only about two days old, so we're still good. Uh, you want to clean this out as much as possible. Get this thing looking sharp. Because uh, you don't want this stuff to just sit during the winter and then harden. So it's important to clean it now. That way when you get, you get going in the spring, you're, make, you're sure everything's good to go. This is what I was looking for. Always keep a good rag around the shop. You never know when you're going to need it. Alright, now that it's pretty clean, what you want to do is you want to check the chain and then make sure you have enough oil in here. And then you're good to go. I've drained all the fuel out of the push mower back behind me over here. And I've let it run for a little bit to let all the remaining stuff flow out of it. Now I'm going to fill it with some of this. This is engineered fuel, specifically four cycle. Uh, it's ethanol free, excellent for long term storage. I highly recommend you guys do this. Um, this machine is not going to be used till springtime. We don't really use it for leaves that much. So it makes sense for us to put it to bed for the winter. Uh, it'll get its oil changed in the springtime. For now, we're just making sure all the components will be okay for, for through the winter. And that's the thing, you don't need to put a whole lot of this stuff in. I did enough just to get, eh, about a quarter in the, in the fuel tank. Now I'm gonna sit, let it outside and let it run for a little bit. Let the components go through the engine. going to do them one by one. The process is pretty much the same for all of them. Put a little of the true fuel in it and then uh, let it run for a little bit. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Um, the chainsaws, they'll need a little bit extra stuff, like the same thing I did with the pole saw, uh, that's pulling off the cover and the, and the chain and cleaning all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm sure some of you guys in the comments might be like, spark plugs and carburetors, and yeah, you're definitely right. Um, but for us, this is basically what we do for right now. Come springtime, we'll do a lot of different stuff with a lot of different equipments, you know, getting everything ready. Um, if I don't make any videos before, um, the New Year happens, I want to wish everybody a very happy New Year. Hope it's a very restful New Year for all of you. 
Uh, I'm gonna be spending the uh, new year with my sister, which is gonna be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna be doing some uh, fun stuff. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post like almost every few days on Instagram, whereas on YouTube, I'm like sporadic. I'm like, uh, I last posted a month ago, or you last posted yesterday, you know. With YouTube, it's a lot to edit and film these videos, and a lot of times I'm not doing real interesting stuff. So I don't film it because I'm like, why would I want to film something if it's not going to be interesting for the viewer? Um, but today was stump pulling and winterizing, so I was like, that's pretty cool. Um, and then I was about to film some stump pulling, and then the truck kind of was like, nah. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope everyone's doing well and has a restful new year. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, please be sure to look at the comments down below. If you liked the video, please do let me know. It just lets me know that I'm doing a good job, and I really much appreciate that because I always want to put out better content for you guys. Um, but this has gone on too long. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope the year has treated you well, and I hope you get to spend New Year's with the people you love. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Let's landscape together.